Close your eyes, third chapter as we are in the fourth one as it begins I told you it begins with a marvelous plan even though the teaching as such is over in the second and third chapter even taking into account the difficulties, the possible difficulties encountered by a student, giving him the ways and means to prepare the mind and ultimately to understand the truth and avoid one's own self. Still, Krishna as a teacher begins the next chapter, continues to teach. It is because as you go on understanding, the new vistas open up until you see the infinity absolute one with it. You cannot keep contented. It's nice to begin with one's own self and everybody must begin with one's own self. But once you are aware of yourself as to who you are, of course, your personal life becomes great. Interaction with everybody is very sensible. Yet, you cannot escape that curious question about the creation, about the God. Is there a creator? How did it appear to be? That is where the macrocosm comes into picture, the totality. And you cannot restrict your intelligence you cannot restrict your curiosity. It's just like the child opens up pages after pages. As you are walking, you go from street to street to street to street and you end up in unknown places. That is human curiosity. What you know yourself is fantastic, but what you do not know about the world becomes source of curiosity. 
Of course, you appreciate the truth. Here is truth everywhere. Same thing everywhere. Yet, that, what do we call the later on? Like Sarvat Mahabha. The truth here is truth everywhere. That is where Ishwara comes into picture. So you cannot finish the teaching without bringing in the macrocosm, the totality. Even though it is not a need, that is why sometimes you can see the so-called philosophy, philosophers, they end up with themselves, verse. After that, they don't talk about God. They don't bring in God. They don't bring in the creation. Because in me, everything is resolved, finished. That is why some people find it difficult to accept a God. Like some other theology, some other religion will find it difficult to accept God everywhere. It's in one place. The person who is interested in knowing about himself and they speak this language of the self, the I, they will find difficult to accept one God. And when you say they find it difficult, it is because they find the difficulty in relation to a God which is external, existing somewhere. But they are yet to discover as much even individual is at once with one name, with one form, essentially nameless, formless, but existing with a name and form, same way, the same nameless, formless, all pervasiveness with a total name and form makes it totality, macro, call it Ishwara, if you like. So here the concept, understand, here the concept is not something totally formless, absolute, nor it is completely externalized, sitting down in a particular form. It's both at once nameless and all names, formless and all forms. While explaining it in the Tattva other classes, I gave you the example of the ocean. From the standpoint of the water, it is formless everywhere. From the standpoint of the ocean, it is one roaring existence of which every wave is an inseparable part. So when you appreciate yourself, who you are, naturally thereafter, you cannot resist the temptation the curiosity to appreciate the totality. So when that question comes up, what shall you do? Okay, I am consciousness with this body. What about the whole creation? Then you have to say the same consciousness, nothing else is there. So that is where it becomes an impersonal reality. You cannot do that because as much your physical body, as much you are at once with a form and formless, same thing also, everything with a form, formless. It is just like you look at your own body. There are trillions and trillions of cells. Each, each cell considers itself independent of the total body. What do you think? So say there is a cellular conversation. Huh? Think of it, a cellular conversation. The kidney cell talking to each other. The heart cell talking to each other. In a cellular world, they can't even see their heart. What to talk of the whole physical body? The tiny little organism called a cell helping out continuously, throbbing, pumping. But it will not understand it's a part of a total mechanism called a heart, a big muscle. What to talk of the physical body itself? As even the Cellular mind is literally cellular. You know, it doesn't, it, it isolates itself from everything. Human being also, because of the ignorance, feels isolated in this universe. Cannot appreciate that this physical body forms the part of the total cosmic universe. It's not a philosophical thing, eh? please understand. It's not a philosophical speculation. But you must feel it. There's a pancha mahabhuta sarira. This body made out of the five elements. And these elements are everywhere. So it's an elemental universe of which this body is a part of it. But it's just not 
gross unconscious matter that is also consciousness. So the same consciousness is one body, if you call it an individual, the same consciousness is totality, Ishwara. No individual can ever remain contented with just himself. That is why if you remain contented with that, you have to contend with, fight with many different concepts, emotions, you know, ideas. Because somebody will talk about God. What do you do? You will feel uncomfortable with a godless reality. If the person believes in a godless reality, he will feel uncomfortable with a God. Okay, if you make a God as sitting on somewhere, you feel uncomfortable with that type of God because it's as though an adversary of you. The person must start with himself and move into the totality, total harmony, total balancing. Therefore, when this language is here, Krishna inhabits, it's not that the, please understand, teacher anticipates the question of the student and teaches. It's not that the student must ask. If the student asks, beautiful. If the student doesn't ask also, the teacher must anticipate what the student may ask later date and teaches. That is why the tradition. Are you getting that point, please? It is just like the mummy. The mother anticipates the hunger of the child and feeds. The child doesn't know that he will be hungry after one hour or two hours. But the mother anticipates after two hours the baby will be hungry. So feed the baby. Same thing also. Initially, as even the baby is taking little food and feels very comfortable. Oh, cho chew it. And is playing along. As though there is no tomorrow, there is no afternoon, there is no two hours after you will be hungry. That doesn't exist for the child. Same thing also. When you get the answer for your immediate question, you feel very relaxed. Oh, yes. This is what desires are. You are feeling very relaxed. But after some time, some other question will come. Some other thought will come up. The child, the person does not know. So, the teacher anticipates. So, this is where comes the anticipation. He knows. You, when a person is, comes in touch with himself, naturally he shall be interested in the totality. You cannot escape that. Therefore, Bhagavan starts introducing that, the theme. Or there was no need for anything. Introduces, hey Arjuna, this is what in the beginning of the creation I had given this teaching and this tradition, it is coming down. But Mahata Kalena, Yoganashta Parantav in passage of time, in the vast passage of time, this teaching is as though lost. And that we can see it today. In the name of Sanatana, Hindu Dharma, this tradition, Vedic, Vedanta, Upanishad. Everybody claims, it's every school claims their root to the Sanatana Dharma. But then, what do they talk about? How many different cults? How many different ideas? And everybody is going to bash out the other person. Everybody will you know, completely, you know, criticize, negate, dismiss every other thought. Telling that this is the only interpretation. No. Which is the interpretation? You think for yourself. Any interpretation, if you want to say it, interpretation has to be all-inclusive. Anything that cannot explain something or anything that has become defensive is not all-inclusive. Understand? If anything becomes defensive, and doesn't become all-inclusive. You consider you take a particular standpoint and you say, this is the only standpoint. What can you talk? That is where it becomes a cult. This is the only puja, this is the only worship, this is the only practice. No, 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 no. And the person will feel affected, offended, challenged if you question the person's conviction. Because without that particular idea, particular conviction or particular thought or practice, the person is uncomfortable. Whereas, when you understand the truth about yourself, if they dismiss everything about you, it makes no difference to you. Because who you are is anyway already dismissed. Are you getting that point, please? It's like a very little peculiar, funny story. One nurse, there was a hospital, and the doctor was coming in. 
The doctor had come in, doctor knock, 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 open the door. And the very strong doctor, eh? little maternally doctor, 50, 60 year old, comes in, knock, 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 there's a man in that room, and then he says, now, undress. The doctor asks, eh? when a doctor asks you to undress, now what shall you do? You have to do that, no choice. You have gone in hospital, you have not gone for a fashion show. Because he is, it is his right to see, he says, undress. Then this man says, um, completely. He said, yes. Then he has a telescope, then the fellow undressed. Then he checked up, whatever physical he took, checked up, everything, he checked, he checked in over. Then he says, okay, now go back to your bed. Very professional. Go back to your bed. He goes back to the bed. Uh, do you have any question? He said, yes, one question. What is that? Why did you knock the door? <laughs> what was the need to knock the door? Usually, why do you knock the door? You don't know in what condition the person may be in the room. So that is why you knock the door. <laughs> now here I am, completely on the buff. So naturally, because you are professional, you have come to see me and you have to examine, it's perfect. But what was the need to knock the door? Everything is open. It's the same thing. Most of the people see that. Here, the person who understands himself is not afraid of any challenge. Why? He has already removed all the roles. He doesn't feel challenged. Are you getting that point? If you hold on to a standpoint, you will feel challenged. If you don't hold on to a standpoint, why challenge? You cannot do it. Very good. You can eat this? Okay. You must not worship? All right. You have to worship? Okay. You should not meditate? Okay. No better meditate half an hour every day? All right. Hey, anything is fine. That is why, what shall I say? Do you understand the extent of freedom? It is amazing. That is why there are no do's and don'ts. Baby things are there, which is just to, you know, in the beginning stages. But ultimately, you see the truth for yourself, absolutely, as to who you are. And then, you don't stand separate from the universe in order to bring in the dimension. Bhagavan begins, and he says, Hey Arjuna, this is what it is. In time, it is lost. That is why you see proliferation of cults at any time. So all in the name of Vedanta Upanishad also. You can't escape it. And here's when I tell you because Bhakto Sima Sakhasi Rahasyam Eda Duttamam. Eda Uttamam Rahasyam. This is great secret. See that Rahasyam? Whatever secret. It's a great secret. Why? It is yourself, but you don't know it. That is the, you know, if the secret is outside, one day you shall find it. If it is in you, that is a uttama rahasyam. If it is in you, what do you do? If it is outside, sometime you shall stumble upon. Sometime you shall stumble upon. That is why you don't stumble upon the truth. If you stumble upon the truth, it is a sensation. You don't stumble upon a truth. Suddenly one morning, you know, people talk about that uh, miraculous spiritual experiences. This happened, suddenly this happened, a light burst into that. When you say this type of non-thing, then you shall be waiting for that. Or the people following that will be waiting for some light bursting in or some sensation coming in. No. It is yourself. And is it a secret need not be sacred. But usually everything sacred may be secret. But anything secret need not be sacred. Whereas in this is rasyam, it is uttamam. It is not only sacred, but also secret. It is a, because it is secret, it is a sacred. And because it is, we have, you know, it is both sacred as well as secret. That is about yourself. Having told this, again we, we saw in the morning, now Arjuna asked the question. Oh, to whom are you talking this? Read. Arjuna Vachem.
अपरम भवतो जन्म परम जन्म विभस्वत है कथमेत विजानीयाद प्रोक्त सो बिकॉज ही हैज टोल्ड हिम यू आर माई सखा एंड ऑल्सो भक्त एडमायर सो फ्रेंड कैन ऑल्सो टेक सटन वॉट दे कॉल लिबर्टी द फ्रेंड ऑल्सो कैन टेक सम लिबर्टी सो इज आस्किंग बिकॉज इफ यू आर ओनली डिवोटी और ए डिजाइपल ना लिटिल अफ्रेड वॉट द गुरु विल थिंक आई आई होप आई एम नॉट ऑफेंडिंग हिम That is why the sakhatvam, the friendship, why you feel assured, you feel comfortable. That you can ask any question. That assurance the teacher should give. The student cannot demand. Are you getting that? See, if a person is powerful, he should make the other person feel comfortable. The other person cannot demand any special uh, attention. But the, like a person who has a rich. he should reach out to you then it becomes easier but the poor man trying to reach out to the rich person is very difficult because he will be so inferior feeling so inferior he will not give, he will not dare go there oh, oh maybe i will be rejected that fear of rejection will be there whereas the person who is rich he has his confidence ah oh, nobody can spurn me okay you go there you know that type of thing so teacher also teacher should feel it make it comfortable for to the student nothing to worry you are free to ask any question that is why in katho in vivek chramani se dadyat aviti sahasa mahatma saha mahatma sahasa avidim dadyat when a student comes the teacher should immediately give him shelter and aviti fearlessness don't worry about it things will be taken care of. we shall see it With his confidence, you are already confident. Ha! If he says he can fix it, now what's the problem? Like a doctor tells you, you don't worry about it. But if he is nizzing, we'll finish in two days. You feel so comfortable. Ah, oh, wonderful! Even though the disease is there, you are feeling comfortable. Why? Because the doctor says he can deal with it. So he's no more unknown. So the teacher, when the student comes, the student doesn't know about his complexities and complications. But the teacher knows everything through, through, through. So when this teacher student comes, he don't worry, he sit down. But suppose the teacher himself is, it is a very long process. <laughs> it will take long, long time, and you have to do this. Unless you give up garlic, it will be very, very difficult <laughs> because the stink will keep the truth away from you. Eh? And unless you give up, you know, unless you sit down this way, and how long your nose? Only half an inch. That will not work. It must be pulled and pulled and pulled until it, when it's two inches, little bit nearer enlightenment. You know, it's a nonsense. No conditions. This is the only thing in life where no conditions apply. For God's sake, don't make it conditioned. Only thing in life, yourself, the freedom, absolute freedom. In God, no conditions apply. God is everything. He is everything. She is everything. It is he, she, it. Everything is she. Everything is he. Everything is it. It's not one name with one form. It is the name with all forms, as we have seen in Koto in the all openings. I mean the Tato Buddha. Yeah, remember these things. That is why so much work has to be done before you study into these things. Because every time I can't explain God. Now again, again, a whole thing explain. You must see that very clearly. So there is no question of being afraid of a god, and if somebody should not make you frightened of God. Oh, if you have come, you don't believe in God, you will not understand the truth. What has God to do with understanding the truth? By chance, you don't believe in God. What's the problem? Do you believe in yourself? Begin with that. Once you believe with yourself, then automatically you will go into the totality. That is why the jump now into the macrocosm. because you once you are appreciating understand yourself now you are very comfortable appa that's what i am then you know what happens further greater com the greatest comfort comes from where this body now forms the part of the total body ayyo just like the moment of the body is cut here eh? this thing a little cut is here the whole body participates in healing it the moment it is cut the whole body takes participates in healing it 
the heart starts pumping blood, the first the blood coagulates, then the heart uh, uh, cooperates, eyes are looking at it, hand is patting it, every the whole body starts participating in the healing. No individual stands apart in this universe. The moment you see yourself who you are and your body, naturally part of the total body. It's your body, it is not you. And it forms the part of the total body. So you see every moment cradled in the most sheltered existence called Ishwara. There is no question of your being afraid of anything at any time. Everything is beautiful. Therefore, now, anyway, Arjuna now asks the question. Because he gets that strength from Krishna's friendliness. Aparam bhavato bhavataha janma aparam. Now you are one of Vasudeva Greho Gruhe, you know, you are born in the family of Vasudeva. Param Janma Vivaswata. You are my contemporary born in the same time. Param Janma Vivaswata. Vivaswan, the Manu, they were born in the beginning of the creation, as they say. Katham etad vijaniyam etad katham vijaniyam. How do I know? Tuam praktavan adoviti. You told in the beginning, you are not there. You are born right now. And you say in the very beginning of the creation, you gave it to me. Who do you think I am? Am I that stupid? <laughs> he now wants to hear from Krishna's own mouth that I am the God, the truth, the absolute. You understand? Incarnation will come. That is why that avatar vada will come now, the incarnation. That is, a God can say he is God. But today it is totally different thing. It is a press made God, journalist made God, people made God. You know, everybody talks about it. That is a very, very unfortunate situation. That is the, oh, Krishna must have told, Kale neva mahata yoga nashta parantava. Completely. A person who claims himself to be God, one day I had gone to listen to one of the discourses. I am telling you God truth. <laughs> I went to listen to a discourse. Yes, those days I had time. There is nobody whom I have not listened to. You name the people, I have gone to them including Krishnamurti and others, whoever was coming to the town in Madras, and Madras is a very fertile place. So many visitors pass, everybody, just to go and see, because I never went really, because having seen this, what is there to go? You go there now, as those people say, as though I'm trying to test out somebody or something. It's nonsense, with having understood everything, what is there to go for? You say, well, study, analyze, contemplate, and they say, excellent. And then, and always there are books are there, you can go on reading it, so no problem. But one day a person asked me a question about some, especially Krishnamurti classes. Then uh, I said, who is this? I had heard of him, but I never uh, knew about him much. And then he asked, I said, okay, I'll go. So I went there also to listen to him. But anyway, he was not uh, claiming to be God or all that. It's a different type of thing, you know. He, Krishnamurti's philosophy was like this. Seer is not the seen. Druk Durisha Vivek. Bas. Seer is not the seen. What you see, you are not. And of course, you go into that wordless, nameless thing. But total dismissal of Ishwar. Almost like Zen tradition. It's like, go into that, then there is nothing. So, the Krishnamurti was like that. So, anyway, uh, you know, and he will completely dismiss everything. Tradition, God, puja, chanting, everything dismiss, dismiss, dismiss. You know, so brazenly he'll be talking, he'll tell people, you know, oh, he's gone, I'm not talking about the person now, poor thing, I mean, he's gone, history, everybody, one day he'll be history, everybody is history. Anyway, so when he was talking, he'll give a statement and say, do you understand? I don't think you understand. You come from temple, puja, worship, chanting, you will never understand. That brazen. Oh, and you believe in Gita, Upanishad, all these things, they are all second-hand written books. That's what he'll also say. He was really halchal, you know, shaking up the fellows, you know. Because if you are a person of faith, you'll be shaken up and destroyed. So, he'll say, these are written books. Then when me and another friend were coming back, he had come with me listening, you both are coming back. There's a bookstall there, so these people are standing there and selling books. And he was selling, he was giving book, and then his fellow told, are written words, spoken words. 
worked away. <laughs> I mean, if you say like that, you know, just you know, just a thing. You simply out of joke. There was no nothing. What is there for us to say? Anyway, but another person who was, he was calling himself a god. I went to the realization. What is God say? Believe me, he started quoting a verse. The God also quotes wrongly. Brahmanandam Paramasugadam. That is right, no? Atmanandam <laughs> Paramasugadam. Instead of Brahmanandam, Shankaras or whoever that verse is, he now says Atmanandam Paramasugadam. I say, well, they even God also forgets everything. And then he gave the concept of God. Oh, he says, hilarious. Anyway, but there are thousands of people watching, sitting down there. So this is where the problem comes, confusion comes, because now the press makes people God. Journalists, writers, average person throws up a God. Or the person also claims himself, I am the God. What is the proof? How? You will see now. This is the, if you want to see a God, this is how the thing should be. What are the things should be? Krishna will say now. Arjuna says, how do I know that you are the person who gave it all in the beginning? Krishna now says, even the person who claims himself to be God, if this first line itself he does, that's enough. Read. Sri Bhagavan Uvache Bahuni me vyatitani Janmani Tavacharjuna Tanya Ham Veda Sarvani Natvam Veda Parantape Ajopi Sanabayatma Bhutanami Swaropi Sanne Prakrutim Swamadhishthaya Sambhavam Yatma Mayaya Bahu Sri Bhagavan Uvache Bahu Nime Vyatitani Janmani Tavacharjuna Tanya Ham Veda Sarvani Natvam Veda Parantape Ajopi Sannavyatma Bhutanami Swaropi Sanne Prakrutim Swamadhishthaya Sambhavam Yatma Mayaya Now Bhagavan says, when Arjuna asks this question, Bhagavan, you know, Krishna doesn't react. Huh, you are questioning me? <laughs> Who do you think you are? Get lost. Huh? Either take it or leave it. There is no such stuff. Today's gods are all controversial. Everything is a controversial figure. Why? See, you don't have to prove yourself to be God, understand. And people have their list of checklist for God also. Today there are gods who can't speak many languages. He must be, his uh, speeches also must be translated because God knows only one language, Sanskrit. Other language he doesn't know, right? <laughs> if you say you are a God, total mind, you should be speaking to every person in his language. Why do you need anything? Because God knows. If God also knows one language, I also know language. What is the difference between he and me? Next. He should have the capacity. Every type of what? You saw, no? Sri, Aishwarya. Huh? Yes, Viveka, Dharma, Vairagya, all the Purna, Vairagya, everything. Full measure, everything. Doesn't lack anything. 
ಪೂರ್ಣ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಪೂರ್ಣ ವೈರಾಗ್ಯ ಫುಲ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಫುಲ್ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಯಾಷನ್ ಫುಲ್ ಪವರ್ ಫುಲ್ ಪ್ರ ಪ್ರಸ್ಪರಿಟಿ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಶುಡ್ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ದಿ ಟ್ರಬಲ್ ಈಸ್ ವಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಸಂಬಡಿ ಈಸ್ ಗಾಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಯು ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಎ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟೇಕ್ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ನೋ ವಾಟ್ ದಿ ಗಾಡ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಕನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಗಾಡ್ ದ ಗಾಡ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಸೇ ದಿ ವಾಟ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಈಶ್ವರ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಒನ್ ನೇಮ್ ವಿತ್ ಒನ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಲ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಟೋಟಾಲಿಟಿ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ರೋ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಸಮಷ್ಟಿ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಪರ್ವೇಸಿವ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅನ್ ಆಲ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಸಿವ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ವೆನ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಓಷನ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ವೇವ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡೆಡ್ ವೆನ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಈಶ್ವರ ದಿ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡೆಡ್ ಗ್ರಾಸ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಸಟಲ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಕಾಸಲ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಅಬ್ಸಲ್ಯೂಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಶಿಯಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಎ ಗ್ರಾಸ್ ಬಾಡಿ ವಿರಾಟ್ ಸಟಲ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಹಿರಣ್ಯಗರ್ವ ಕಜಲ್ ಬಾಡಿ ವಿತ್ ಮಾಯಾ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಈಶ್ವರ ವಿತ್ ದಿ ಕಾನ್ಶಿಯಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಸೊ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಸೇ ವರ್ಡ್ ಈಶ್ವರ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೈ ದಿ ವರ್ಡ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಶುಡ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಎ ನ್ಯೂ ಡೈಮೆನ್ಸನ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿ ಇಂಗ್ಲೀಷ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಪರ್ವೇಸಿವ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೈ ಗಾಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಹುಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಡಿಕ್ಷನ್ ಇನ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನೋ ಗಾಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನೋ ಅನ್ಗಾಡ್ಲಿ ಅವರ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಅವರ್ ದರ್ ಈಸ್ ಗಾಡ್ there is no place where the god doesn't exist why is such an expression because the god is somewhere therefore ungodly god is somewhere therefore god for second place just you know, it's not being critical but please understand that here everything is auspicious every moment yes there are relatively auspicious in auspicious time but once you understand the truth this consideration goes away from you you remember the second chapter that much meaning is in the vedas as much meaning is in the well which is dug up in the river bed during summer time once the whole river bed floods with water you don't go to your well same thing when you understand the whole thing is god there is nothing other than it which form you should worship you choose i don't want to worship choice is yours there is absolute freedom you understand that all inclusiveness complete all that doesn't bring you that doesn't bring you to lead you to arrogance it doesn't smacks of self righteousness any type of cultish arrogance no 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 such stuff because you know he alone is or she alone is there is nothing other than it and that is what bhagavan says hey arjuna bahuni me vyatitani janmani tava cha arjuna hey arjuna tava cha mama cha me mama and tava for me as well as for you bahuni janmani vyatitani many lives have passed as even i have passed through many many lives you through also passed many many lives tani aham what is the difference aham tani sarvani veda aham janami i know every one of those every detail is available with me natvam vetha parantap he arjuna you do not know anything that is what makes the difference between jiva and ishwar individual is born under the spell of ignorance Ishwara is born keeping the ignorance under control he knows everything about himself not only about himself but also about Arjuna he knows about Arjuna he knows about everybody that is Ishwara omniscience because all minds are his minds all bodies are his bodies therefore naturally he knows about everything the is a total mind total body it is not some type of a conceptualization please appreciate again and again that is why sometimes miracles do happen appreciate miracles do happen because it is just like you are talking over the phone suddenly between the line to line you get into the exchange and then you are listening to another conversation is it totally listening to some other conversation is coming in sometimes unconsciously people get hooked into the total mind totally uncalled for informations will come to you the greatest mathematician ramanuja if you have heard his name an indian person ramanuja the greatest mathematician you know how did he pick up all these things in his dream is available in the book form huh? you don't have to say it's not a miraculous story of the sadhus and uh, uh, press oriented uh, stuff here is a person his family deity his family there is upasana of devi so in the family deity 
the the dream he shall have a dream the deity comes and dictates high mathematics formula it becomes so vivid he wakes up and writes it down all doesn't know what he is writing to prove it oxford professors have to break their head and they say he was the greatest mathematician ever born because even now he is what he has written down has not been some of them have not been proved so what did he get it how these ideas come into mind you be an be a creative artist and see for yourself how does an idea come to you can you claim i think hey you don't understand just make yourself a vessel that is why krishna and bhagavan need not come again and again he will come and say that he will tell that later on immediately we shall see that he doesn't have to come again and again the moment there is an individual where the individuality is no more there the person understands himself this becomes like an unclaimed hutment as though god sitting down there this is what swami ji will teach in manan swami very nicely we tell him that every time the god doesn't have to incarnate when there is an unclaimed hutment there is a house moving but the person is not there it is not my body anymore it is not me it is not mine it all belongs to him to, through that ex- instrument he expresses because there is on un- totally unobstructed individuality is not that to take the to claim the uh, claim the responsibility for it suppose something happens through you if you claim the responsibility it will be against the principle of the universe why the flower is fragrant the fragrant the flower doesn't claim the fragrance the tree doesn't claim the ownership the mountain doesn't claim the ownership neither the wise person claims the ownership of anything how can you talk like this how can you teach like this how can you write like this how can you produce this ask any artist who produces a beautiful art or painting can he say i did it please try to sit down and create a masterpiece you can never it happens it happens through you how don't ask it just happens you just make yourself a vessel available so that is jiva ishwara taniham veda sarvani bhagavan says hey arjuna i know everything your total mind is heal mind natvam vetta hey arjuna you don't know that is why if a person doesn't know about his past life it is not anyway limitation that is how it supposed to be and by chance some fellow claims that i know your past life now there is a past life therapy also how to you know in tiruvannamalai itself somebody does it Uh, so unfortunate i say because suppose somebody talks about past life how do you know how do you know they is right or wrong it was hilarious and we went to somebody i don't believe in all this absolute rubbish but then somebody told swami ji come there i can't even talk that fellow talk pure nonsense and uh, i was laughing 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 you know what can i do anyway we'll t- some other time we shall see that Be- you know that uh, okay let me tell you out you know that uh, <laughs> uh, what is that they do nadi what is nadi nadi nadi, nadi. Uh, baidisaran koil no yeah. agastya nadi yeah. hmm. the nadi there is something that they say your name is there i said really that person came and told me swami ji you want to read i said what is there i said come on man don't waste your time and do they charge money he said yes yes they will give some money i said no then i am not going don't waste my time don't waste your time i am not no 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 you don't worry i know them i will pay whatever to pay you don't worry but you come i said okay i will come on one condition you don't tell anything about me to them if you already told about me to him then don't take me there completely promise you will not reveal anything about me i am your friend going no swami no nothing he said yes promise i said good to surprise him i myself i was pulling this dress no i had taken one silk cloth white when just two kilometers before they reach the place i said stop the car yes what i said just wait i removed my dress this one put on that white one a cloth and i have a nice uh, i don't know what is that one another ekamukhi big rudraksh lai lakshmi has got one like that ekamukhi big chain very prosperous looking i don't fit in it because i feel that sometimes uncomfortable but then anyway it's a beautiful piece i put that one this one and of course i watch this one. and i no sign of swami removed my chandan and all these things and uh, uh, bas i can't do anything about the baldness but uh, <laughs> anyway so <laughs> right so uh, <laughs> anyway so i went there then we reached and i reached that 
The person says, you read it? Okay, read. He took, he said, what is the proof? That I must give my own thumb impression. Then he will bring my paper. I said, that's fantastic. Because thumb impression means it is unique. So he brings my paper and reads. Excellent. So he goes there, not brings one paper. He brings one big book, all in um, palm leaf. And he has to find my book. I said, finished. I said, let's go. He is supposed to get my paper exactly. What is he asking me for now? He said, what is your name? I said, no. Why should I tell him my name? He took my impression. You mean say, my name is there in that fancy paper? And he's supposed to have the uh, horoscope for everybody. So five billion people. So this much of a book. So how can there be five billion names in be there? Are you talking nonsense to me or what? I was talking, I said, yeah, you are just a gada, donkey, what is this? You are laughing, I was not eating, I was laughing and I said, yeah, you will get, you know, you know. Then he, you know, take that, then he said, uh, some devi ki vandanai ki, your name begins with ah, I said, nonsense. <laughs> That's not right. That's not true. Yeah, I was really playing game. Then he said, yeah, now nah, if you go on writing the whole alphabet A to Z, then I have to say at one time, yes, no. <laughs> so he said, yes. Then the next page is, your name begins with yes, your father's name begins with A, I said, no. K, no. M, of course. You know, somewhere it has to begin, no. So then the third page, he shall say, he is so smart. He gleans all the information and the selection method. He, put, he remembers all that you say, yes. So your name begins with yes. Your father's name begins with A. Your mother's name begins like this. Then, then he, you know, you are, a, then he says, you are, a, you know, some educated person. Of course, you know, understand English and don't understand Tamil, must be educated. Eh? Is, you have got a job? No. Uh, you have uh, not done, you know, sort of you are... Uh, um, uh, you know, an amigam. Amigam means you are a spiritual person. Okay, you have to say, all right, yes, right. So, you are uh, working in this place? No. You have gone here? No. I have gone around the world? Now I should say yes. Because if you don't say it's the wrong paper, no. Now, if he takes out, I am a person, I am going around the world, I have been very, very successful. Now, does it him take a great person to say that I must be somebody? Eh? Then he writes down all this nonsense, then he talks nonsense, which I cannot talk, because that's real garbage. Eh? It's already hitting my head, I can't take you know? it. <laughs> it's a pure, pure garbage. I was laughing, laughing, and that fellow was sitting, I said, what do you think of this nonsense? You know, I was laughing. You know? Then he wrote down everything and gave me in a piece of paper, in a book he has given. What is that? How does somebody know? Cannot. And that we don't know is not a limitation, it's a blessing. Imagine you remember all your past lives. You will be going cuckoo in one day. In this life, what all has happened if you remember and never forget? Can you sleep? Think. Can you sleep? It is such a beautiful mechanism that everything is forgotten. Don't try to remember the nonsense. Why load your mind with the past when the present is so exciting? Who goes on to past? Only when the present is a load, a burden. For Ishwaran, no problem. Because everything, for him, totality, everything is he. He has no sense of ownership there. He knows it. The present day gods, they say, oh, get married, this man, this woman, get married. And they divorce after three years. How come God did not know that this will not marriage will not work out? He said, I mean, why am I telling is Because they have made it so ridiculous. Vedanta has nothing to do with this type of stuff. You understand about yourself, then don't try to be a god. God is here, but this much is not God. As God can say is God, as Krishna says. Bahuni me jatitani, he arjuna. Many births have passed through me. Janmani tapacharjuna. And that is why? Taniyamha, Taniyam Veda Sarbani, I know every one of it. Natvam Vetha, he arjuna, you don't know. So that is why Krishna gave a direction to a generation. He knew what all things were happening. So took care of the princes, fixed up the kingdom, everything worked out thereafter. He has a purpose, establishing that which next verse we shall see, very famous one, you shall see that later on. Anyway, he has a definite plan for it. 
सो ही नो बिकॉज ही नोज एवरी थिंग एंड व्हाट डज ही से हाउ कम यू नो एवरी थिंग इट इज बिकॉज अजोपी सन अभ्य आत्मा भूताना ईश्वर पीसन हे अर्जुन इविन दो आई एम अज न जायते अज इविन दो आई एम एवर अनबर्न प्योर कॉन्शियसनेस आर परवेश ब्रह्मवा अभ्य आत्मा इम्फरिशबल सेल्फ आई एम इविन दो इम्फरिशबल अनबर्न आई एम भूताना ईश्वर पीसन आई एम द लॉर्ड ऑफ द यूनिवर्स भूताना ईश्वर पीसन आई एम द लॉर्ड ऑफ एवरी थिंग इन दिस यूनिवर्स आई एम माई आई एम the creator i am the creation i am everything there is no difference between who i am and what i create both one and the same bhutana am ishwar vishan that is why when you say how come i am you know bound and god doesn't release me in the vision of god you are not bound that is why he doesn't release you you feel bound that is your problem not god's problem Because there is no problem. If you, listen, why you? What can I do to get out of your imaginary fear? Just think. If your are you getting that? If your fear is genuine, I can fix it. But if your fear is imaginary, that is why imaginary suspicion, imaginary jealousy, imaginary hatred, imaginary love and infatuation you cannot deal with. You think somebody is loving you? There is no love. You think somebody is hating you? There is no hatred. You think somebody is going to always following you to kill you? You know, under this paranoia. Nobody can help you. Nobody. If you are imagining, who can help you? There is no ghost. But you say there is a ghost in that room. Now, what can you do? Think. There is a ghost. Then you should put a neem leaf in all side. <laughs> There is a ghost in the room, so put neem leaf on the uh, windows and doors. This ghost cannot um, cross the neem leaf. I mean, a childish behavior. You understand? First, there is no ghost. Then a neem leaf is kept. If that ghost is so powerful, invisible and can go everywhere, go through your door, can he not cross the neem leaf? This thing. Can you help to get rid of the fear of the people? <laughs> Same thing, imaginary fear, suspicion, jealousy. I think my wife is seeing somebody. I think my husband is looking at somebody else. Finish, finish. Nobody can convince. And more you try to convince, the more the fellow will say. Or other person, the person nobody respects me. This is self-persecuting ideas. Nobody respects me. Do you respect yourself? Yes. Then why are you expecting others to respect you? What's your problem? Nobody cares for me. Do you care for yourself? Yes. Then what's your problem? If you can care for yourself, care is taken care. If you love yourself, love is taken care. You don't have to worry about anybody. Because if somebody loves you, it will be so conditional. Suddenly his mood is off, his love is off. Then what do you do? he is not loving me anymore that is because you don't love yourself anymore that is why to be loved by somebody you spend your whole life what a waste just to be loved by somebody you want to put on a particular dress look in a particular way cook in a particular way do something in a particular way why to be loved by somebody what a headache how much price you pay so you think god is going to persecute me so you start worshiping him If you don't worship, as though God will stop to be God, guilt comes in the name of God. Who does it? Not God. The in between fellow will do that. Please see the definition, description, ajopishan, abbe atma, imperishable, unborn I am. Bhuta naam ishuropishan, prakrutim swam prakrutim avastabhya, keeping my prakruti maya under control, sambhavami atmaaya. Atmaya sambhavami. By my own will, I come to manifest. Whereas you come under the spell of Maya, the jiva is come under the spell of ignorance. Ishvara comes into manifestation, keeping the Maya under control. When you, when he comes, that is why incarnation. This is the avatarvada. 
Avataravada means avatara. When he takes a particular form, as he chooses, depending on the occasion. Hey, what is the karma for uh, God to come into manifestation? For Jiva to come into manifestation, he has his karma. What is that? Sanchita karma. Out of the Sanchita, whichever is ready for practice and prarabdha, Jiva is born according to karma. What is that makes Ishwara to be born? Ishwara for Ishwara to be born, the prayer of all good people. The prayer of every person becomes his karma. That forces him to as though come. That is what the next verse he shall say. How do you come? Read that line. I will connect up both the two, three of them. Yada yada hi dharmasya Yada yada hi dharmasya Glanir bhavati bharat Abhyutthana madharmasya Tadatmanam srujamyaham Paritranaya sadhunam Vinashaya chaduskrutam Dharma sansthapanarthaya Sambhavami yuge yuge Yada yada hi dharmasya Glanir bhavati bharata Abhyutthana madharmasya Tadatmanam srujamyaham Paritranaya sadhunam Vinashaya chaduskrutam Dharma sansthapanarthaya Sambhavami yuge yuge It's amazing verse, it's so beautiful. Ishwara Atmamaya Sambhavami Hey Arjuna, I come into manifestation by my own keeping prakriti im swamadhisthanya vasikrutya dehavani va bhavami sambhavami means dehavani va bhavami as though born with a body I shall come into this world as though with a body even though I am not a body a name, a thing I am everything the ocean becoming Mr. Ocean how do you like it? The ocean manifesting as Mr. Ocean and talking to wave. Ocean is so vast. How does ocean talk? All pervasive, how does it talk? So, Dehavani Vavavami, I take a particular form. Keeping this Maya is under control. I come into manifestation. When do you come into manifestation and why do you come into manifestation? For the individual, if the karma brings him, for the Ishwara, the samasti karma, that is, the prayer of the wise, the prayer of the good people, that becomes the, in response to that, he comes into manifestation. That's why in Purana and other things, you shall see the story, when a particular Rakshas, eh? Hiranyaksha, Hiranyakashibu, Ravana and all these becomes terrible. Everybody will start praying, Oh God, please come into manifestation. Narada will go and report. You know, these are the stories. Oh God, what is this? You are sitting down here in Vaikunda having a good time. The down in the earth, everybody is having a tough time. I say, okay, I will come. You go. We will be born there. You know, like that the story goes. But this is all cultural stuff. But then, think of it. your body. How nice it is. You are a decent man. Very nice person. Now when your child little goes out of order, does something which he should not do, what do you do? Avatar. You take an incarnation of anger. Don't do this! Like a lion you roar. What are you doing? Avatar. 
पर्पस इज ओवर अंगर इज गॉन एवरी मोमेंट यू आर टेकिंग एन अवतार आर यू गेटिंग दैट पॉइंट प्लीज एवरी मोमेंट यू आर प्लेइंग ए रोल समटाइम्स वेरी काइंड शांत समटाइम्स भीम समटाइम्स रौद्र यू अंडरस्टैंड एवरी पर्सन टेकिंग अवतार एवरी सेकेंड इफ यू कैन टेक इट वाई कांट द टोटालिटी टेक इट टू लुक आफ्टर दि होल क्रिएशन यदा यदा ही धर्म से ग्लानिर्भवति अधर्म से अभ्युत्थान हे अर्जुन तदा आत्मा अहम सृजा वन एवर दि धर्म दि राइटियनेस गोज डाउन इन द वर्ल्ड अधर्म से अभ्युत्थान अनराइटियस क्राइम नेपटिज्म आंगर हेट्रेड जेलसी दट ग्राफ गो जॉब तदा आत्मा अहम सृजा दट टाइम आई शैल कम इन टू मैनिफेस्टेशन वाई शैल यू कम इन टू मैनिफेस्टेशन आफ्टर ऑल ही इज द क्रिएशन हीज इज द क्रिएशन ही हेज टू टेक केयर ऑफ इट देर फोर वाई शुड यू कम साधूना परित्राणाय दुष्कृता विनाशाय इन अडर टू प्रोटेक्ट द राइटियस विनाशाय दुष्कृता डेस्ट्रॉय दि दुष्कृता अनराइटियस धर्म संस्थापनाय इन इन अडर टू री एस्टाब्लिश दि धर्म दि हारमोनियस अर्डर ऑफ दिस यूनिवर्स संभवामी जुगे जुगे इन एवरी अयन in every generation in a sense in time i shall come into manifestation is so reassuring is not the first one and last one after there is no hope eh? no is a continuous any time anywhere not necessary that he should take a from particular form also at certain times as i told you when there is a person there is something that is why ईश्वर वेन ए पर्सन नोज अबाउट हिमसेल्फ नाउ ही डजेंट हैव दी ओनरशिप ऑफ दिस बॉडी और ओनरशिप ऑफ द माइंड दैट इज वेर द फ्लूट सिंग्स द डिवाइन म्यूजिक वेन द फ्लूट इज टफड विथ कटन नो म्यूजिक पासेस बॉडी माइंड फ्लूट स्टफड विथ कटन ऑफ अहंकार Discord and music, no music. When that curtain is withdrawn, now freely Krishna blowing through it, the infinity, playing through the finite. Divine music passes through that. The whole world listens to it, enchanted. that is why is not necessary that god must necessarily incarnate every generation whoever when such a person is existing the knowledge passes through it is just like the ambassador representing the country somewhere when the ambassador is there when he says i am speaking the whole country is speaking but the moment the individuality comes in he shall be called back home for consultation because he is not gone there to give his air his private view he must toe the line of the totality what the country says same thing also here as long as you have a personal need personal weakness personal consideration that long don't worry about it you can ask when shall i know i don't have any personal wish when success failure means same thing to you doing not doing means same thing to you ninda prasansa sincere and praise means same thing to you dukheshu anudvigna mana sukheshu bigata spruha bita raga bhay krodha sthita diri munir uchyate dukha will come 
విషా అయింది స్థితి ప్రజ్ఞ దర్ షాల్ బీ ఇన్సిడెంట్స్ విచ్ కెన్ బీ వెరీ పెయిన్ఫుల్ డజెంట్ పెయిన్ యూ దర్ షాల్ బీ ఇన్సిడెంట్ విచ్ ఆర్ వెరీ ప్లెజెంట్ డజెంట్ ఓవర్ వల్ మీ యూ బీత రాగ భయ క్రోధ నో డెఫినెట్ లైక్ ఆర్ డిస్లైక్ దర్ ఇస్ నథింగ్ టు క్రేవ్ ఫర్ నథింగ్ టు రన్ అవే ఫ్రమ్ అండ్ దర్ ఫోర్ దర్ ఇస్ నో ఫియర్ ఆఫ్ గెనింగ్ ఆర్ లూజింగ్ అండ్ దర్ ఫోర్ దర్ ఇస్ నో అంగర్ ఆఫ్ ఎనీ కైండ్ యూ హ్యావ్ నో ఫియర్ ఆఫ్ లూజింగ్ ఆర్ గెనింగ్ when there is no fear of losing or gaining anything who with whom shall you be angry if something really upsets you you don't understand the truth take it for granted you take that statement and work on it how does the sky feel heat by the stone can you hit the space with the stone please hit the space if you are not there can you be hit an unoccupied boat if you hit against an unoccupied boat does the boat resist if there is a boatman you will shout ah what are you doing but if there is no boatman that is why ninda prashansa if i am not there you resp- you know you respect or disrespect means nothing if you respect you recognize something if you disrespect you don't recognize something how does it matter to the wise man it makes no difference why because this is where comes your wisdom absolute sure of yourself who you are your being who you are is no more dependent on other people's commentary you are absolutely sure of yourself that is why ishwara when the ishwara come krishna comes nabos somebody say that fellow is not he is not god does it matter to him it makes no difference he plays through his life same thing in wisdom so paritranaya sadhunam vinashaya cha duskrutam in order to protect the sadhu destroy the unrighteous destroy means what not that killing killing and all that stuff changing that is why the knowledge gains a new lease when a wise when the ishwara comes into manifestation dharma gains a new lease what is dharma dharma sansthapanarthaya sambhavami yuge yuge again and again i shall come into manifestation in order to establish the dharma dharma means what dharyate iti dharma that by which everything is sustained by which everything is sustained only by the truth the absolute therefore this knowledge gains another lease do and don't will mean nothing unless you see the mechanism of it the source of it why people cannot keep up the words that they give who does not know that he should speak the truth but how many people keep it who doesn't know that he should not get angry but how many people can maintain it who doesn't know that you should be loving kind to everybody because you don't need a god for it being loving being kind is makes life easier just think simple thing do i need a god for it do you need a religion for that to be kind and to be nice do you need a religious sanction for it suppose all of us here we are 10 people suppose 10 of us you don't pull my leg i don't pull your leg i am worried about give helping you you are very much concerned about helping me each one takes care of himself and takes care of others also what is the problem is it necessary to know that in the name of god don't pull somebody's leg for what leave the god alone you don't need god for that why is it the person cannot do it you know it why you cannot do it you're not aware of yourself because you're unaware of yourself ignorant of yourself that is why neither the ignorance is hated nor the ignorant man is hated by the wise man that is how the person is what can he do understand so dharma sansthapanarthaya yuge yuge sambhavami in every yuga i shall come into peace then you can say oh yo today it is so much why the god is not coming for you it may be so much but for him it is still not too much 
It's still not true. Are you getting that? Who has to decide whether it's too much? See, for you, you come and say, Swamiji, you know that fellow is really rotten, you know, he's talking nonsense. I think he should not be existing here. For you, it is too much. But for, until everybody goes crazy, I say, oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Another person, you are getting that point. Uh, who do you know? You throw a stone, a family, two families fighting, stoning, stoning each other. If you tell to the uh, general in the Indian Air Force, uh, Indian Air Force, the Air Commodore, the Air Marshal is informed. My neighbor is throwing a stone at me. Bring the F-16. <laughs> what nonsense. Definitely your neighbor is throwing a stone at you is a personal crisis. But the F-16 from <laughs> Air Force Base is not going to take off <laughs> because some, your neighbor is throwing a stone at you. Then when shall it throw? Let other countries put another plane. We shall see. Not until that. Same way. Dharma. When shall it throw? Oh, nowadays, whenever I tell something, the, you know, the person is, you know, business is cheating me, that man is cheating me, then the whole God, where is the God is existing? Oh, don't worry. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> until everybody is cheated out, right? In a sense, Your personal life, please appreciate. You can take care of it. That is why this knowledge, this teaching. How much can I say? The importance of this knowledge you cannot overemphasize. If everybody this understand this himself, you don't need any divine intervention. Automatically you fall into the harmony of the universe. You are happy with yourself, I am happy with myself. What is the problem? Tell me. Like I was telling you know, the story, remember, two wise people, they wanted to test fighting with each other. How does it mean to fight? Let us fight. This fellow says, how to fight? If they don't fight with anybody. He said, okay, here is a stone. You say it is mine, I will say it is mine. Then we will fight. All right, they put the stone. This is my stone. No, this is my stone. I tell you, this is my stone, you don't touch it. My stone, you don't touch it. Third time, then you say, other fellow say, okay, yours, you take it. <laughs> now, what type of fight? How can you fight? The happy people cannot fight. You must be sick unless you are, you know, unless you are, you know, something going inside. Anger, hatred, jealousy, insecurity, something somewhere there. You cannot fight. That is why, if you can say the weakness of this wisdom, if you can say that, weakness of the wisdom is you believe everybody. You believe everybody until the person proves otherwise. And that becomes a very vulnerable point. Becomes a very vulnerable point because you believe in everybody. The other day something happened like that. I was believing somebody. You know, is then this government officer was here. He said, Swamiji, how can you believe? Just because the fellow comes and says, I am a good man, you give him the place in the ashram and he loots something and goes away. How can you do that? I said, so what do you expect us to do? We have to scan everybody in the ashram and everything. What nonsense? What are the things and how can you do that? When somebody comes, a right person, put him and let him stay there. You should not do it, I told him. You should not do it. You are a police officer. Suppose you say you believe everybody. Can you investigate a case? <laughs> have you committed a theft? No. Go. <laughs> no, you should not. Your job calls for disbelief. You don't believe anybody. Until the person proves innocent, He's guilty. <laughs> Can you do that? But that is our system is. Until he proves innocent, first you consider he's guilty. Whereas in this real in wisdom, everybody is innocent until he's proved guilty. That is why you believe, you believe, you believe. Suppose everybody is like that, what a life it will be. Naturally, the, the mood changes, creation changes. Ishwara, he alone comes into manifestation. But whether you cannot expect God to come into the universe for you to change, you understand yourself. You don't expect the whole world will change, then I'll change. For me to change, God must himself come. 
then only i'll change no 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 you change yourself understand it then then your life he has come once you understand the truth yada yada you understand please appreciate this is much more important यदा यदा ही धर्म से ग्लानिर भवति हे भारत इन योर पर्सनल लाइफ यदा यदा धर्म से ग्लानिर भवति व्हेन इन योर ओन लाइफ राइटियसनेस काइंडनेस हैप्पीनेस गोज अवे कंप्लीट अधर्म से अभिभवति आ अंगर हेट्रेड जेलसी कम्स मोर एंड मोर इन योर लाइफ तदा Atmanam Sujamiyam. That becomes an ideal field for the God to intervene. Understand? As long as you are a good man, you may be so self-righteous. You think you don't need anything. That is why people who are little on the wrong side of life. they take to this life very quickly because they are tired of it doesn't solve the problem honesty does not pay even falsehood doesn't pay you know some people bad people means what they think honesty does not pay acha the good man also can understand same limitation falsehood never pays even honesty doesn't pay what to do come to yourself that is where in your personal life in your personal universe god comes into manifestation do for what paritranaya sadhunam to protect the right values in you bina sahay cha duskrutam and to destroy all the wrong tendencies in you dharma sansthapanarthaya in order to uh, reestablish the rule of law the rule of the absolute law about yourself sambhavami yuge yuge in every life i'll come to manifest do that that is the explanation it is not that the, he must come for everybody to you know once in a while everywhere it come that also can happen nothing wrong but in every life the truth must come into manifestation when you see it then only you know it has happened to it is possibility is there for everybody to see the truth and hey arjuna this indeed janma karma cha me divyam evam yo veti tatvatah त्यक्वा देहम पुनर्जन्म नैति मेति सोर्जुन स हे अर्जुन मम जन्म च कर्म च दिव्यम यहाँ वेति जन्म मै जन्म वट इज दट मयारूपम आज दो बॉन्ड मै कर्म नॉट फॉर मै सेक बट फॉर दी सेक ऑफ अदर्स इति दिव्यम साधु परित्राणादि दिस इज दिव्यम अप्राकृतम ऐश्वर्य इट ऑल बिलोंग्स टू टोटालिटी तत्वतः व्यक्ति वन हु नोज इन रियालिटी व्हाट इज दैट एज ए टोल यू सी इट इन बोथ वे माइक्रो वे माक्रो वे इन योर पर्सनल लाइफ ऑल्सो वेन i use that word god comes to my life god comes to your life means what you know the truth about yourself that is why <laughs> if you say your confidence comes from god listen carefully if you say your confidence comes from god in the absence of a faith in god you will be destroyed and if you find a confidence in a particular god or other person doesn't find that confidence in the same god there will be a conflict that is why in the name of god there will be fight 
but when the confidence in god devotion to god instills helps you to discover the confidence in yourself the confidence in god leads to self confidence confidence in yourself because to know god is to know yourself to know yourself is to know god then you are divine this is divya karma in your life there is a touch of truth touch of divine and one sees it very clearly because other things outside let's please an outside the activity of a somebody whether it is divine or not how are you going to know about it unless it is that spectacular as krishna's life who govardhan is left or you know he gives a direction to the generation arjuna is the prince he takes the side of the righteous prince so the whole kingdom is affected when he can effect a change in life of arjuna through arjuna the entire kingdom is touched you see the point you can bring about changes in two different ways grassroot change everybody change the world or change the top man and let it cascading effect let it flow down changing everybody is a tough order but changing leaders top people it comes down are you getting that changing the top person it automatically comes down you see that beautiful example in your own personal life understand it's like a triangle you start working from the base go to the top or go to the top slope full flow down same thing also the life of an individual life of a country life of a society you want to say i'll fix my body i'll fix my sense organs i'll fix my thought i'll fix up these things then i'll go to myself you can do tough tough in a sense it will take some time suppose you are already prepared and you go straight on to yourself the knowledge cascading down it touches your thought touches your action touches your sense organ touches your speech touches your life touches everything beautiful same thing also every individual to change and for the whole world to change so that when every individual changes world will change is ideal but every time every individual changes it takes long time if the leader changes simultaneously the world will be touched it is like ashoka became a ashoka accepted buddhism and thereafter the whole kingdom became buddha buddhist the top man so if the top people changes change themselves naturally the whole world will change immediately but today is a different world altogether the people who are on the top have no faith in anything including in themselves their entire faith is based on is their entire faith is pinned on money power do you understand why we are in a beautiful mess with the person's confidence comes from power that he wields or the money that he controls money power or political power economical power and political power that is the source of the person's average person's importance today so everybody trying to take a pie a little you know take a piece of the pie everybody wants that little money little power little money little power so more money more power so the self confidence is zero confidence in god forget it just doesn't exist exactly this is why there are totally confused people around the world ruling the ro roost whether it is an industrialist whether it is a professor whether it is an engineer doctor professionals politicians forget politicians absolute corruption absolute corruption it will be tough time suppose you say the whole world will change then i shall change you shall never get a chance you better change yourself once you find that change in yourself as gandhi will say 
be the change that you want to see be the change that you want to see you want to see a particular change in the world then you be that change suppose i say nobody should get angry then i should not get angry because if i cannot get if i cannot stop being angry how do i expect everybody can be angry it doesn't work is like somebody says after 70 year old after you are 70 year old a new age will begin when you are 75 year old your body cell will change and you shall be young again whoever is talking that his own body should change his cell no now if his own body does not change the cell how is going to other people's body is changing i am talking about happiness if i am an unhappy person how much can you believe so the power position that gives them confidence that is a destruction whereas a person who finds self confidence believe in god is believe in yourself believing in yourself is believing in god believing in everything divyam janma cha divyam karma cha divyam tatvatah veti tatvatah tatvatah vigas no that confidence in yourself tatvatah don't say god is great of course god is great but god is great because that greatness is in me he is all pervasive because he is in me too how can he be all pervasive if he doesn't exist in me that is why when you pray what the prayer does to you is more important than what it does to god prayer is not for the sake of god when you say oh god you are all pervasive you are all love not that he has forgotten and must be reminded he remembers it when he you say oh god you are all pervasive you are also included you don't stand apart divyam janma karma divyam one who knows it here juna tektva deham deham tektva when he gives up this body because the identity of the body identity identity with the body is gone long before the body is given up such a person punar janma na yeti mameti he arjuna sa purusha that person mameti he comes to me become one with me becomes one with me as though moving st standing separate but in reality was always with me comes to me punar janma na yeti there is no rebirth why when you know yourself you are not even born what is the question of reborn ajopishan abhyatma unborn absolute so see that play of the total divine the totality he alone is existing there is nothing other than him so right on time he comes into the creation the total more important than the descending on this universe descending in the life of a person that's very beautiful yada yada hi dharmasya glani bhavati in your own personal life a disaster strikes you in your own personal life crisis overtakes tada atmanam sujami ham that is where you get that hint of the absolute everybody wants to get out of it isn't it right when you are in a deep problem what happens you know it is not natural something pushes you out of it what is that atmanam sujami ham god comes in manifestation you get the hint of yourself what is this life ah. you don't interpret it as he will come sit down now he has come he is born there he is taking care of that choice is yours you can believe it but see that in your life he has come into manifestation and say close your eyes we'll see more of it tomorrow beautiful your own life will descending paritranaya sadhuna in you there is sadhu good tendencies samskaras love affection compassion sensitivity everything in you binashaya chadushkruta 
Because of ignorance, anger, hatred, jealousy, that which are running your life, that goes away. Dharma sansthapana arthaya. And in order to re-establish dharma, that which sustains everything, that gets re-established in yourself. Yuge yuge sambhavami. In every life I come into manifestation. We cannot wait for another yuga for God to come, manifest and liberate me in my life. This is my yuga. This is my time. And I see it. I see him. I see that reality. Call it a masculine, feminine, neuter. You see it in your life right here and now. Your own body becomes a marvelous creation. There are trillions of jiva, cells, it's a miniature universe where thoughts of various kinds, good, bad, indifferent, are roaming freely. Into that battlefield of yours descends this awareness of yourself already existing. life changes, all that you hold, sacred, beautiful, noble, genuine, is sustained. Tendencies, anger, hatred, jealousy, disappears. No more, your life is a battlefield. The peace descends for eternity. Happy with yourself.